So I immediately stopped what I was doing when I was sent this document and started working on this video for you guys. I was actually working on another video and I got sent this and I just think this is so incredible. This had to take its place and I wanna to try to get this out as soon as possible for you guys. So there is a new patent, relatively new, published May 22nd of this year, filed by a Brian McDonald. It says he's from Maynard, Massachusetts. Now there is a Brian McDonald on LinkedIn, he's a senior research and development engineer for another business, who says he used to work for Sig Sauer, both as a designer, and he also says that he was later on a engineering consultant. Now it's not specified who for, but in that description, there's something I'm interested in <laughs> right here, that says he would quote, diagnose problems in existing products and develop solutions. Hmm. What could that be? So we have this here, and this claims to fix literally the P320 design. In fact, he says in this patent itself, quote, that the existing design is incomplete and unsafe. So those are his words. We're gonna go through this patent today, see exactly what he changed. Um, and yeah, this is kind of crazy, guys. So you can see the existing design is referred to as prior art. And he has something called an improved design. He's got uh, those throughout the document here, little ace of spades there as well. Um, and this is just crazy. So what did he develop? Well, he has a safety lever that is compatible as a retrofit. So that <laughs> makes me feel like he was working with SIG to develop this. And how it works is there's that little notch you guys saw in the sear that is captured by a new safety bar so it can only rotate downwards with this little protrusion here if the bar is in this position. That's crazy, guys. I, I think it's kind of genius, actually. Um, and so we're going to go through the document here. He writes exactly how it works. I'm going to skip a lot of the technical stuff for you guys and just get to his summary at the end because I think that's what's most pertinent here. So here's the detailed description. He writes, the manual safety version of the popular P320 firearm, which is currently being sold to civilian, law enforcement, and military markets, features a safety mechanism which mechanically blocks the trigger bar from moving and therefore the trigger from being pulled while the safety lever is in the safe position. You know, it's figure three. The sear on the P320 firearm will rotate between two positions about a pivot pin on which it is mounted. The first position described here as the reset position in figure two is the position where the rear portion of the sear is rotated upward to hold the firing pin back. The sear has two springs acting upon the rearward end of the sear, which bias the sear to be held in this position. It's pushing up on the sear. The second position, described here as the release position, is the position where the rearward portion of the sear has been acted upon to be lowered, which will release the firing pin, of course, allowing it to travel past the sear and impact the primer. A loaded round already positioned in the barrel of the firearm. The prior art safety quote unquote mechanism will prevent the trigger bar from moving forward and acting upon the sear to release the firing pin, but it does not in any way prevent the sear itself from moving under the force from any other action. This allows for the potential for the sear to be jarred and moved from the reset position to the release position, even when the firearm safety is in the safe position, he writes here. This condition is clearly shown in figure 14. He goes on, this allowed rotational movement of the sear will then release the firing pin. When this occurs, the firing pin will be free to travel forward with only a firing pin safety featuring minimal contact area remaining in place to prevent the firing pin from striking the primer of a loaded round already positioned in the barrel of the firearm. Guys, we are so vindicated with this here. In this way, the prior art is an incomplete and unsafe design. This is further evidenced by multiple lawsuits which have been filed, alleging that the P320 model firearm will have accidental discharges, even when securely stored in a holster with no action being taken to manipulate the trigger, safety, or any other component to the firearm. Wow. 
Guys, that is pretty huge. So he goes on to describe the safety lever here, which we discussed. So in summary, the improved sear has an additional element which interferes with the profile of the safety lever pivot pin when the safety lever is in the safe position, thereby preventing the sear from moving to the release position and allowing the firing pin to travel forward. He goes on here, says a further embodiment of the kit is one which can be installed into a firearm which was originally manufactured in a non-manual safety configuration. This is crazy. The upgrade will require machining of the serialized chassis and the grip module and will require a manual safety compatible trigger bar, right and left side, levers, manual safety detent, and spring. After installation by a qualified gunsmith, the full conversion kit will provide the same improved safety features as previously described in the upgrade kit, quote unquote. So, wow, is that what's going to happen here, guys? Um, moving forward, who knows? An additional configuration of the safety lever and sear element to create interference and prevent release of the firing pin when the safety lever is in the safe position is also disclosed. Okay, so here he goes to improve the safety lever itself where a protruding element is added to the safety lever. This protruding element, rather than a notch as previously described, would be rotated into a position which would interfere with the rotational movement of the sear. This interference will prevent the sear from moving to the release position when the safety lever is in the safe position as previously described. Now you'll have to change the whole slide to do this, which he goes into here, and says this protruding element would be installed through an enlarged hole on one side of the serialized chassis and sear housing or would be attached to the safety lever pivot pin after the safety lever is positioned in the serialized chassis. This configuration is not preferred due to the extensive modification to the host firearm required for this embodiment of the design. Yeah, that would be crazy. So guys, here, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Here it is contacting in the safe position. See, it can't physically move down. This is blocking it here. Um, you want my opinion on this? I, I would trust this. I would honestly trust this if this were in a P320. Now the caveat being in the safe position, obviously, and not uh, bumped or jostled around. But yeah, I, I see genuinely no way if everything's built to spec, which is sometimes the big if uh, with certain companies. This, um, it's, it's kind of genius, actually, the fact that it can be retrofitted to the existing 320s or modified uh, if they don't have a safety lever already. So... Guys, this is wild. So what does this mean? Let's let's kind of break it all down here. Well, we're gonna make a couple common sense assumptions here. And that is, if this is the same Brian McDonald on LinkedIn, and that is a true, accurate, and complete profile, which sometimes LinkedIn can be out of date or inaccurate. But if we assume he really was contracted to uh, do that QC process, and it was for SIG, that means they knew this was a problem uh, throughout the past year while they were telling us all the P320 is safe. Guys, yeah, I don't know where we go from here. Now, here's the question is, did he file this himself or did he file this at the behest of SIG? If you go back and look at SIG Sauer's patent for the second sear ledge, the language is very different. It's very much a, hey, this is just an improvement. It's just a positive. There's nothing wrong with the existing model. And Brian's language here is very different, especially talking about all the lawsuits. I can't imagine that Sig Sauer would want to put that language in this application if they were the ones filing it. That in turn makes me wonder if there was some sort of falling out between Sig and Brian and he just went to go file this himself. Remember in the second sear ledge, it was uh, from New Hampshire, Newington, New Hampshire. That made it about an hour away. Um, but I'm just curious about the inclusion of that language and the fact that it's Brian and Maynard filing for this other than SIG. I wonder if he's trying to protect his invention. I wonder if maybe there's some disagreement on uh, compensation or royalties or whatever it might be. I wonder if there's some internal disagreement on, can we just do this or do we need to do the secondary a striker stop as well that requires more milling? I don't know guys, but this is, this looks pretty, pretty impressive to me. 
And like I said, I, I stopped what I was doing. I was actually working on another video with different different Air Force documents, if you can believe it. Uh, shout out to New Hampshire reporter Todd for getting that out there. But this is just crazy. And this was found, apparently, <laughs> in a random YouTube comment on Prepared Airman 2's channel. Somebody just typed that patent in and found, hey, yeah, this looks like uh, what the person said it was. Uh, so, And it looks like the author is saying this is done to remedy the, uh, quote, incomplete and unsafe design in the prior art here. So that's pretty wild. Engineers, let me know what you think. Um, I'm sure this will make waves, <laughs> assuming you're allowed to see it. So uh, guys, enjoy your freedom of speech while we have it as well. Um, and maybe this could be a fix for SIG. Maybe this could be a way they come back. I know a lot of people actually like the P320. They like how it shoots. Yeah, this. I, I wonder if this could be a viable solution for you. So I think that would make a lot of people happy. I'm wondering why it was just published now. I'm wondering why we haven't heard about it. I'm wondering a lot of things. So maybe we'll get answers to those soon. Guys, thanks for watching. Link to this. You can just type this in and find the patent document yourself. You don't need a link from me. It's uh, in the public domain or public field. But there it is right there. US 2025-016-4203-03-A1 published May 22nd of this year. Crazy stuff. Guys, thanks for watching. We are going to move on and do non-SIG videos next. I hope that's okay with you all. There are a lot of topics I want to talk about beyond SIG, uh, believe it or not, but stuff just keeps coming up, so <laughs> I kind of have to, have to do it. So thanks, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care.